Hello, I am Dr. Rivera Cravaca from the Department of Cardiology of the University Hospital Virgen de la Resaca. I am going to talk about our original article entitled A Propensity Score Matched Comparison of Clinical Outcomes in Atrial Fibrillation Patients Taking Vitamin K Antagonist, Comparing the Real World versus Clinical Trials. AF is the most common arrhythmia worldwide and it is characterized by an increased risk of uh, blood coagulation and thrombosis. But this risk can be significantly reduced by using oral anticoagulation. Despite the emergence of uh, direct oral anticoagulant, vitamin K antagonists or PKAs are still widely used. In this study, we have compared clinical outcomes in AF patients under PKA therapy in two different populations, one from the real world and the other from a randomized clinical trial. But the question is, why we do this? It is well known that randomized clinical trials provide, provide the most strongest evidence. However, clinical trials patients are usually highly selected and carefully follow up, and this is not always possible in the real clinical practice. In the present study, we used a propensity score matching approach to investigate the incidence and risk of adverse clinical outcomes in the Murcia AF project, a real-world cohort of AF patients and their BGA therapy, in comparison with the warfarin arm of the Amadeo trial. The Murcia AF project included patients with non-valvular AF stable on BGA during the previous six months of inclusion. The median follow-up was more than six years, but here was restricted to one year. The Amadeus trial was a multicenter, randomized, open-level, non-inferiority study that compared fish dosh hydroparinux with BGA for the prevention of thromboembolins in non-valvular AF patients with indication for long-term anticoagulation. As I said, we only used the warfarin arm of this trial for comparisons. Using a propensity score matching, patients were matched 1-1 for a final balance score of 1,324 patients, and then we compare several outcomes and composite outcomes. In summary, annual event rates for all adverse events were significantly higher in the real world population after propensity score matching, with the only exception of cardiovascular mortality. These results were confirmed also by cost regression analysis, showing that the risk of the majority of outcomes were increased in the real world. It is particularly interesting that the risk of male bleeding, ischemic stroke and all-cause mortality defined as primary outcomes were more than three-fold higher in the real world cohort. In the present study, both cohorts were balanced by follow-up duration, age, comorbidities, and time in therapeutic range, but there are inherited differences that cannot be avoided. Patients with particularly high risk in whom adverse events are expected, patients with poor family support, Poor adherence or discontinuation problems could be frequent in daily clinical practice, but not so in clinical trials. Indeed, they can be controlled in clinical trials and even excluded, but they are not avoidable in the real world and need to be anticoagulated. So, in conclusion, in this study comparing the Murcia AF project, a real world court of AF patients taking DKAs, and the Amadeus trial, we demonstrate that the presence of great heterogeneity in both populations is translated into a higher risk of several adverse outcomes in the real world court, including major bleeding, ischemic stroke, and mortality. Thank you. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayocliniceproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, 
such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.